Hello. Michael. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't say that here. Uh, I sh You're a priest? Last time I checked. Why didn't you tell me? Because most people act differently when they find out. As you are now. Got milk mustaches? <laughs> you watch TV. And listen to the radio? And on occasion, I've even known to talk on the telephone. Okay. All right. I haven't had much contact with priests. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. You know, in fact, when I, when I first met you, I thought you were... A psychopath? No. Maybe just for half a second, only just for a second. But then, then when you came inside and, and I thought you were flirting with me. Well, I have to admit that <clears throat> the color doesn't exactly make me blind. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. No, but you must hear that all the time. Oh, well, how, so how do you do it? Do what? Stay true to your vows. I mean, you must have women hitting on you constantly. Never noticed. Really? It's never been a problem. I know my path. I always have. So what are you doing here? Like I told you, I'm fixing the place up. Right, but I mean, what are you doing here? Why aren't you in a church or, or, or a cathedral or something? I was, but now this monastery is my church. It was, it was a beautiful place once. And I made a promise to myself and God that it would be that way again. Now, if I've answered your question, I have one of my own. Okay, go ahead. Why are you here? I'm looking for you. Not here at the monastery. Why are you alone? Miles from the nearest town. As if you're trying to get away from something. What are you running from, Eve? I'm not running away. I'm not. Would I lie to a priest? Let's just say you wouldn't be the first. <laughs> I came here to get away from everything. To think. And to find something to run to. My path hasn't been as clear as yours. I've run into a few hairpin turns along the way. And you're in one right now, I take it. I was married to the most wonderful man. Somebody that... He was everything I ever dreamed of. And I thought that we would be together forever. But you're not. One day, out of the blue, I ran right into my soulmate. And I didn't know it at the time. But in that moment, in that moment, everything changed. I mean, do you believe in soulmates? All faith, Eve, is based on trust and commitment. Trust in yourself, in God, in those around you. It's okay, you can yawn. I'm not yawning. But you weren't gonna lie to the priest. <laughs> Sorry. I am so tired. I just haven't been sleeping well lately. Please, put your feet up. Oh. Gee, don't mind if I do. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Oh, that's that's nice. Good. So go ahead. You were saying. Well, we were talking about soulmates. So why aren't you with yours? Oh, that's a long, complicated story. He's uh, not exactly free. Well, I don't know if any of us are ever completely free. Our past, our frailties, our responsibilities. 
But that shouldn't stop you from loving and being loved. As it says in the Bible, love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures. Love never ends. There may be some other passages in the scriptures you may be interested in. Take, for example, excuse to be back out here again. We could put up a plaque. <laughs> it meant a lot to me, Michael. Oh, you enjoyed cruising in the El Camino? The sympathetic ear. Ah, uh, the sympathetic ear. Yes. Well, you are welcome to either one anytime. They're equally sympathetic. I really appreciate it. I mean, running into you has been an incredible blessing. And as far as coincidences go, I'd say it's definitely a two thumbs up. Well, if you're ever in the neighborhood again. Hey, maybe we'll run into each other again someday. Yeah. You take care of yourself. Thanks. You too. <laughs> <laughs>